Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today's layout is for Scraptember, it's another prompt um, for the uh, memory keeping event in the month of September. Today is prompt 8 and it is um, multi-photo. So I'm using three photos, I think that qualifies as multi-photo, anything more than one I suppose, but you know, three, four, five. And um, yeah, so today I'm doing three. So. It's going to be a double page and my paper that I'm using today is Bella, Be Bella Boulevard, Bella Besties, um, Freehand Graph and Dot Black. So I've used this many times and today it's the black one that I'm using. I've got my three photos here I've already mounted onto white textured cardstock and I've rounded the corners using my We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder and I almost always use the quarter inch um, the quarter inch side of that because if you uh you you can use that and then if it's not right you can do the half whereas if you do the half and it's too much then you can't go back actually that looks as like it's not quite uh, not quite done I probably didn't put it quite in properly so yeah so that's those and then i've got three project life cards here six by four and two three by fours and thinking um probably be doing my usual design of um, centred and top left to top bottom spread across the two um, 12 by 12 sheets of paper. So um, it's quite a, well, grungy, I don't know if it's grungy, I'm not sure, you know, it's quite earthy tones. So I've got um, some embroidery thread here, I've got two different colours here that I like to both colours, so I've mixed the two and what I'm thinking I might do is use both colours on together when I twine them around. Some dotty back flare pieces here, these are quite, they're very, definitely not new release, some of them may still be available. Um, Bramble Fox pieces here, two Shadney pieces there and my wood enamel dots and it was this this pack Bramble Fox that I'm using those pieces from. The thickers I'm using today are those ones I used recently, Tinseltown, Christmas collection obviously and it's these ones. So. It's uh, another, I think it's going to be another simple layout, simple-ish. The way I've put the photos down there is how I think I'm going to have them. So um, I've, obviously I've got four by six and then four by four um, here, the individual photo on this side. But I'm going to pop that onto that uh, six by four there. So obviously it's not a mirror image or anything. The title here, Adventure. Although, I'm not sure actually that is going to be the title. I think that might be a secondary title, which I quite often do. If you follow me, you'll know that. Um, yeah, because I was thinking of putting wild somewhere on the layout, like maybe here or something. I'll, I'll see how it looks as we go along, or, or it could be here. Um, uh, using those thickers, because, yeah, it, these photos were taken um, in October last year. <laughs> believe it or not they're in my pile of layouts so you know that's kind of built up and I keep saying to myself that I'm going to do like an older one and a more recent one or you know I mean obviously I can do the more recent ones but try and fit in an older layout that I've put together so um the these pieces here are quite new I just pulled those out to do this layout today but the the flare pieces are quite old and um, yeah that day was a little bit wild I, I, I'm pretty sure although it's almost a year ago <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a day where the the sea was quite wild and the dogs were a little bit wild <laughs> so yeah I think I'm going to put wild on here Um I'm sure it was that day the beach that we go to here is quite a rugged beach the dogs are allowed to go there all year round it's not a tourist beach at all so yeah it can be quite wild down there on the south of the island these two doggy pieces I, I, I might pop on here, maybe on here, because the way the dogs are sort of playing, you know, together like that, I thought I might sort of do some, try and do something, but of them kind of looking upwards like that maybe. Well, then again, I might just put them on straight, I'm not sure. So, simple design. I've also got out my Heidi Swap Colour Shining Gold that I may use got my um, Ranger Archival Ink in Acorn that I use quite a lot for the date and I did pick out this other Project Live card that I thought went quite well with the colours but 
yeah I'm, I'm not sure now I think I've kept it there just in case but I think um, I quite like the way it's uh, I quite like the way it looks now so I don't think I need to add anything I'll get these down I'm not going to raise them or anything I'm just going to put them flat to the page and probably about here try and get them lined up on the edge of that to paper there Yeah, this, um, these Bella Boulevard papers, Bella Besties ones, have come in really handy. You get a pack with all the different colours in and, yeah, I'm not sure that I've got, I think I have got maybe yellow or something left over there. But, um, yeah, they're, they're really useful, especially as I think you do get two in the pack, actually, of each one. So if you want to do a double page spread, I'm sure I've used them before, my double page spread. Let's see if we can get this one lined up, perhaps against that little grid there. Can't see it too well. But I think that's fine. When I got the Project Life cards, gosh, I don't know, maybe about a year or so ago, I got two sets. I think they were on offer at. To, uh, I got them online, but I think it might have been TK Maxx or somewhere like that. Um, yeah, and I'm still working my way through them. Amazing, they're really useful. Pop this one down. I thought I quite liked the look of having the two there. Sort of um, one a tilt and then one straight there for the journaling. When I pulled the two colours out, I thought they looked really good together. So I thought I may as well use both rather than just one and just add a little bit of interest on this side of the layout. A bit of extra interest. There. So that's the photos and the Project Life cards down. I, I like the look of that. I think we'll probably get these down now. So yeah, multi-photo layout. I mean, if you all follow my channel, you will have been seeing my scrap timber pages, I'm sure. I've done most of them. Um, I didn't do the first two. I haven't done the fussy cutting. <laughs> I might have had a go if I had a layout in mind that, you know, would have worked for it, but I didn't. So yeah, I wasn't able to give that one a go. And... Uh, I think there's a sketch that I've not managed to do yet. I may it may be something that I do later on, you know, if I'm not able to do it on the actual day. But one of the a couple of the sketches were quite hard, hard for me anyway. So because uh, I'm doing so many of the prompts, I, I may not, uh, you know, I may not try, I may not do those. Now then, how do I want this to go? Right there, I think maybe, and pop this one down here. I think I will stick those two doggies there. Shadney, these pieces, these wood pieces are from Shadney. No, I haven't got many of those left now. I think there's bits of some poo and uh, dog bowls and bones and things. Okay. I think I will put them as they're looking upwards. And then I might just stamp the date here, although, it, yeah, it doesn't look as though there's enough room for the date there, but we'll see. So that's all those down. Oh, put the title down. I do like this title here. There was another title that I picked up that was in green. I think it was a lime green, loving life or something it said. And uh, I th th thought about using that because of the ball here. But yeah, I really liked this uh, white one on here to go with all the white that I've got going on. And then these darker wolf pieces because they were definitely woofing. Both, both these boys like to woof, particularly Bud. But playtime, obviously, it's woof time. So, yeah, that's those two down, I think. I think I like those there. Okay, the journaling's going to go here. Obviously, I've got to add the date. Like I said, I probably what I should have done was add the date before I took those wood pieces down. But, uh, you know, see if I can do it now without... Uh, too much bother. Yeah, let's say. I might have to write in the let's get a pen, the right colour pen. I haven't got a brown one there. Got a brown one here somewhere. I know I have, this quite it's just not it's just not looking at me. It's just not in my eye line. Mm. Okay, so yeah. Oh there it is. Just going to write in there just to make that 
obvious that that's 2021. Didn't quite stamp that very well. I'm not too bothered about the, and I'm not bothered at all about the shadow in stamping there because it doesn't matter as long as it's somewhere. This is my Energel pen in brown. I do really like those pens. As well as my Uniball. Anyway, let me see that, yeah. Double page layout again, not a lot of room to spare on the desk. Right, so pulled together some twine here. And what I've done is I've done two strands the same length of each colour. And um, that one goes there, doesn't it? And I've got, and I've done the same with the, and, but a lar larger strands for this, for the XL flare. So um, I've never done this before, so we shall see how it goes. I just couldn't decide between the two and I thought the two colours actually look quite nice together so we shall twine them and see how it comes out. It's quite tricky to keep the two strands together. What it seems to be, oh sorry, knocked over my uh, colour shine there. With these XL flares you do have to use like a deeper foam pad so that means that the there's more, there's, um, you know, like a gap underneath where the twine can disappear into. So you have to just sort of take your time to add it. It's quite difficult for me because I'm not good at that being, doing things, you know, in a patient manner. Get this one on here. I think I have actually got those deep foam pads on the smaller ones today as well. The tabby dots, they're called. I'm not liking the look of that. So you can get it a little bit more straight. There's quite a lot of uh, thread going on there. I think I'm okay with it though. Quite like the rugged look. Oh, get those together so that they're the right same length. Um, the ends are in the same place. I don't want one, you know, with a single strand and, and then a single strand at the end. I want it to be double stranded all the way through. What I'll do once these are in place and they've, they've sort of glued down, I'll, if I'll check to see if I need to add any more adhesive to them. Do these ones here. So we're getting them um, quite, we're quite a way in now with the scrap timber. Today, like I say, is the 8th, so we're over a week in now. I'm sure there's lots of inspiration. There's a YouTube playlist, Scraptember 2022, and there's a Facebook group, Scraptember, and obviously um, other social media with the Scraptember 2022 hashtag. So lots and lots of places to find inspiration. That's what you're looking for. Now those two pieces, I obviously didn't make sure that they were, I didn't keep the ends together tight enough because they, they, at the end there, they, yeah, one's a bit longer than the other, but um, it's okay. I'm going to just leave it as it is. And then two more to do here. Put the glue on both, same time. Is enough time before it dries. That one down. Yeah, I'm quite um I'm thinking that I could do this in future now, and it's a little bit like Baker's twine, isn't it, with the two colours? And uh yeah, I think I, I might try that again with brighter colours on a different layout. Quite like the idea of I quite like the idea of stringing together some brighter colours. think that there's probably going to be more adhesive that needs adding to this later. <laughs> probably would have been better to string one first and then the other but I wanted them to, uh, I don't know if, if it'll look any different doing it that way. Yeah it will won't it because one will be on top of the other and I quite like the idea of them, the colours being mingled. Right, oh that's the same thing's happened there where the end of the twine is is longer. Must be the way that I'm twisting it around. Keep
keeping it loose. There's definitely a lot of um, thread that's not actually glued to the page there. So, um, like I've said already, once it dries, I shall have a look and see if I need to place any more adhesive to keep the other bits in place that are not, you know, glued to the page. I don't mind if they're not glued as long as they're not going to shift too much. Good job that this is dries clear this glue. There is a little bit of it is a little bit messy doing it that way. Yeah, and that's those done. So now I've got my these enamel dots. I've only got three of these light coloured ones. Um I'm not even sure if I'm going to use them. Thinking how I would use them. I wanted to add that wild, didn't I? Maybe I should do that first and just run that along here because I think it will actually fit just in that gap there, the wild. I thought I would use the light coloured green. Um, I think originally I was thinking about running it across the top and have maybe a smaller gap here, but I actually quite like the fact that it fits in that space there that I've left. Okay, let me put that on there. So the, the name of the... Not usually when I do a layout, I tend to sort of put the name of the beach as the title. But I've done so many layouts for this beach that uh, I'm just going to pop that in the journaling today. And I'm going to have the adventure, or I might even call it wild adventure, as a title for the layout. So it's my own design. I'm not following a sketch today. And uh, it's one of my favourite designs, which I've probably said already. Top. Cent kind of centred but also r embellishments running top left to bottom right it's a design that I really like I think that's everything glued down isn't it I've just got to think about whether I need to want to use the gold I think I'll give it a shake as I was shaking that I was thinking about these dots and where I might be able to place them and I thought about here and here possibly with the use one of the lighter ones in each section and then the darker ones so shame you can see the um thing pads underneath there and then maybe like i thought i might pop one or two here uh, there maybe and then the lighter one there yeah it is a real shame about those foam pads because it kind of spoils the look of it but and then i thought i need to put something maybe here or it could be over here, but I think I'm going to do it here, actually. Like that. So that's, yeah, I, I quite like that. I wanted to do it in three places. Um, I, initially, I was just really thinking about filling these gaps, and actually I'm looking there now, and I actually want to put some there as well, but I haven't got any more of the lighter ones. I've only got the really dark ones. I could put, like, a really dark... One here and then somewhere else. But I was thinking a minute ago that I liked it here because it's kind of in the central section and it's not anywhere near the uh, the flare. But then, you know, does that really matter? I'm just going to go for it, I think. Use some of these lovely dots. Shame I haven't got the mixture, but then if I do it purposely, dark and dark here and then the light ones there, I think that'll be fine. Hmm. I just have to decide where. I'm thinking just here, that randomly here. It's really annoying me though, those little, that you can see the foam. I might have to push that in with a tool afterwards, so you like that, so you can't actually see it. So, oh, that one stuck to my finger. So you can't see it, so, uh, you know, it's not obvious. I think the foam sticky bit came off on my hand there, of that one. Right. I think I like that. So I've gone with, instead of two lots of three, I've gone with the odd number of five. So two here and then three here. So, um, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. I do like the look of that. Now then, let's have a... Shall we add some... Uh, I think we'll add a little bit of uh, gold splatter, which can go all over. I haven't used this for a while. It's gold splatter. It's a bit uh, thick now. I've had it a long time. I don't think I need to cover anything down here if I'm just going to do it here. Just here. I'm going to have to wipe the table afterwards though. All the mat. It's going everywhere I can see. 
hold it steady and let it not go quite everywhere. Plenty up there, but I'm thinking I want to add a little bit more. Yeah, I'm just going to do it in those two places, so top left to bottom right. And that's the gold mist. I don't mind it landing on the embellishments or the flare in this case. I don't think there's any on the photos because I covered those, didn't I? So yeah, I think this one might be finished. I've added the date. So um, I've got, I think it's going to be a wild, wild adventure. Um, and yeah, I think it's finished. I quite like the fact that I've got three sort of sections with, you know, like a little bit of a, a word here, a word here, and then the words here. I like that as well. Little doggies there looking for the ball. <laughs> well, that's what I like to think anyway, like in this photo here. <laughs> yeah, just got to add a little bit of journaling about the day uh, or the visit to the beach. And then this layout is finished. So that's another double page layout done. And it's for the multi photo prompt day eight at Scrap Timber. I'll take the photos at the end with the journaling to show you what I've written. Um, yeah, so once again, uh, stay safe. Thank you very much for joining me. Take care and I shall see you next time.